So today's a little bit different. I'm going across town to work on a pergola, a gal called, and I think it sounds like the pergola is like half built, half assembled, and uh, they ran into some difficulties. I think the husband is ill or something like that. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go over there and uh, finish it up, uh, get it put together, and we'll see how it goes. All right, so when you show up at a job, you never know what to expect, but in this case, the pergola is already, like, a large part of it's already built, and that was pretty cool. I was working with Jack here on most of the project. Uh, he was, uh, you know, lending his expertise, a helping hand, and telling me all kinds of really interesting stories along the way about his uh, interesting career histories and just experiences. So, anyway, it was kind of a cool uh, buddy project. And this, this uh, structure was big enough that it really did require two hands. You'll see that several times we're working two ladders, uh, like right here. And, uh, you know, you could have done this solo with a lot of clamps and straps and whatnot. But uh, it's nice to not have to do those kinds of balancing acts. And the whole thing just went a lot faster. So, uh, basically, the first thing we're doing here is uh, squaring up the structure and making it more rigid. As a big kind of square, it was wibbly wobbly, and you'll see that the whole structure kind of wiggles a little bit. Once you get some triangles in place, some triangular angular bracing, a structure like this will just stiffen up. And you can see here when we lock this guy in, we we alter the shape of the structure just a little bit, get it square, and locked it in place. There are triangular uh, bracing. Uh, braces all around the bottom here and then the next thing we're doing is creating the upper triangles uh, these are the trusses and that just really stiffens it up in timber frame construction and really in all uh, framing of a roof structure the roof structure itself is kind of interesting on this kit uh, you've got the big trusses that you see up top those triangles and then you just kind of build the roof system on the ground and uh, once it's built you've got these big frames that you just lay the metal roofing down on. And this was some kind of cool metal roofing. Uh, it's similar to the metal roofing I've used before. You know, it's got the channels and everything. But this stuff was coated uh, with a vinyl coating and then it had a plastic wrap on top of it to protect it. So it was just in really good shape. Uh, this stuff went in pretty simply. You know, we were kind of talking while we did it and uh, it was uh, not a big deal. Keep in mind though that if you build a square roof panels like these on the ground they might not be perfectly squared up so uh, here what I did is I took my my tape measure and I just measured the uh, cross directions like uh, corner to corner you've got to have those corner to corner measurements match exactly for a structure like this not to be racked uh, said another way you want it to be a rectangle or a square not a parallelogram so I measured these guys realized that one was just a little bit longer than the other and then uh, lifted the panel up and kind of pushed it, kind of smushed it a little bit to get it out of that parallelogram shape and into a rectangle. That way your roofing will go on perfectly square. Anyway, uh, then it was time to put the roof panels up in place. It actually took three of us to do this. Again, you could solo this job, but three people was awesome, just really quick. And uh, once the roof, pa roof panels are up there, they kind of lock together with some few, a few bolts. I didn't show you that. Uh, but they also had a drip edge on the bottom. Uh, the drip edge was kind of cool. That will allow the water, when it cascades down the roof panels, to hit the drip edge and then fall directly down and lose a little bit of acceleration. It'll also catch snow uh, so you don't have big sliding chunks of snow in the wintertime. We do get some snow in the wintertime here uh, in the Midwest. All right, so I put those drip rails in, and uh, there were a few braces down below that you used to lock the roof panels in place, uh, sort of giving it extra security. Normally, you would just drill in from above through your bird's mouth, but you didn't really have access to that with this build-it-on-the-ground panel roofing system. Uh, if you've ever built something from a kit, uh, you, you'll know that different kits are different. Some of them, like nothing's cut to size, doesn't come with any of the fasteners. Some kits come like this one did, cut to size, pre-drilled with the fasteners. I'm a big believer in kit construction. You know, you don't have to build everything from scratch. It's cool to go from scratch, but man, with a kit like this, you get it done in a couple hours. This was probably about 10 hours worth of labor, including the work that was done 
uh, before my uh, before I showed up. And here I am just putting the roof ridge cap in place and that was screwed down and like all ridge caps you gotta get up there you gotta ride the horse and screw it in place and with that ridge cap boy that roof is secure it is watertight and ready to go All right, that's just about it for this pergola project. Uh, there are a few finishing touches that need to happen in terms of bolting it to the slab pad foundation and adding a bit of electrical work, but uh, there's hot tub going in, so that's gonna wait. So for me, that's a wrap.